every piece carefully and then just make a decision on that shit before you do it. For that one thing. Anything else, I don't fucking care. You can call a nigga rapist, don't care. Murderer, don't care. Scammer, shouts to Danny. Doesn't matter. Shout out to Danny. <laughs> just, just child predators, the no no. That's it. That it bro. And the other the other thing that I will say, because nobody else has said it, I have no idea. I don't think you guys know. When everybody got banned when niggas were calling Henny a predator, I have no yeah. idea what the fuck happened. And Zeno has no idea what the fuck happened. We had to go niggas had to go hide in Kai's server. We had to tell Kai Porter to send us invites and go hide. Because we had no idea what any was doing. Niggas hit This was Mike, a fact. This hit was a fact oh yeah, I was in there. Yeah, I was in there. I couldn't even speak or else we would get banned. Yo, shout out to Aaron here, real nigga, because he jail broke everyone. <laughs> he did. He waited 20, 20 or so minutes, checked, and then slowly unbanned people. And Ricky slowly unbanned people. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck was going on. And yes, I get how everything everything together looks fucking weird, but I had no part of that. And the second thing I'll say is I talked to Henny maybe three times, just me and him in VC. And I've been around for like, I don't know, like a year or so. So I I've know him a bit, but I don't know him like that. The only person who's spoken to him that knows him well is Danny. And she could speak on that. And oh, okay, I can say this. So I've talked to Danny, obviously, since she's been gone, right? I talked to her before she left. Do you know the she reason why? Yesterday. She doing good. Well, allegedly. She's doing, she doing, she doing, she doing, right. she doing all right. Allegedly. Allegedly. Right? <laughs> this is the fucking spooky shit with all of this. This is the weirdest fucking part. Before any of this happened, you know how like Henny and her would kick it or whatever? Because she, she can be cool to talk to. Do you know what she said about Henny? And this is a woman who's around the same age as him. She said, Henny is like a kid. Yeah. She, she sees Henny like a kid. So something was fucking off. If she picked that up once before this happened, I had to be very certain. Now, we know the outcome, but the, the facts separately, it, just, it was too weird for me to, to, to jump off that bridge. That's all. You know, you know what I can say in your defense, Chiron, about Most the whole Henny thing? No, about what? the whole Henny thing? Okay. Uh, I can compare it to the whole Chirac situation with Shada. You know what I'm saying? Speaking up, you're speaking up for a homie before you know the full context. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes... It just ends up buying you in the ass. Yeah, you know. But Zeno, honestly, didn't I, I didn't tell you about that shit? Like that shot I didn't even shit? see it as you. No, 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 you're right. Homie. right. It was just like, I just didn't want. Yo, even if it's my op, like, I wouldn't want them to get called a pedophile for no reason. Like, anything else is fine. You could be, um, anything else is fine. You could be ISIS. I don't care. That's just the one thing. No, nah, I'd rather I'd rather die than be uh, labeled a pedophile, bro. Dead ass. Yeah. Murderers is lit in the streets. You no know, pedophiles is lit. So that's all it came down to. Like the the shit is still, to be honest, fucking weird. Like, ha, you know, it's the fucking crazy thing. If you go into, and I I remember with Zeno and some of the guys, we're in VC and we're searching Twitter when it's happening. How the fuck is there no screenshots? Like, there's certain shit that doesn't sit right. But like I said, because of looking at everything, that nigga guilty, bro. It is what it is. So yeah, I just didn't appreciate when other people, not you times, when other people were saying sneaky shit like Kyron's defending a pedophile. Other people need to understand the truth of how the world works. And I'm cool, I'm glad Blue Jazz came on to stream and said this, because when a man says some shit, it, we don't matter, but a woman's opinion goes further, right? Niggas were saying certain shit about the age of consent, and you can have your own view, I don't even care. That bitch got pregnant at 15, and she lives in America. And she's old, she's old, but she's younger than me, I think. So the, the way that you guys see shit, whether it's right or wrong, doesn't even matter. It's just what actually happens often, unfortunately, is very different than what you think it is. Like that, her getting pregnant at 15, she's not the only bitch I know that was like that. So you just got to look at reality sometimes. I know like what you see and what you're told are very different, but it just is what it is. Bro, not the whole, okay. The whole fuck, the whole fucked up thing with the whole Henny situation is, it's like, it's like, even if it is legal, you know what I'm saying? Like the age of consent yeah. is 16 and shit. Yeah, bro, you being a 22 year old individual going after a 16 year old, bro, it's it's down galactic, bro. It'll Absolutely. never, it'll never be looked as good. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So like, That's even if, even if. Even if Mans doesn't go to jail, we're all going to look at him like a buster for fucking with the 16-year-old and you're 22, bro. 
Absolutely. And that's the other thing that was misconstrued. Because when I was in Maria's server, other people were talking, right? So Henny was talking and other people spoke. And what they told me was that he didn't know her age. So that's very different, right? You talk, let's say you go to a bar or you go to an outdoor patio and it's mad adults. And you talk to a chick and she looks like everybody else in there and you don't know her age. Some shit happens. I'm not going to look at you the same way as a nigga who knew she was 16. But that yeah, nigga, intent, intent is the whole factor, though. You yes. know what I mean? And he and supposedly this nigga found out she's 16 and hit R2. He hit turbo. He said it's low. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then he's just guilty. Yeah, that nigga went crazy. Because like, there's like, definitely many times you can troll around and chat and you don't know a bitch fucking age. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Like, motherfuckers don't know shit. Like, bro, like, I but, could be 25, 28, 32 right now. Niggas would never know. I'm willing to take what she said with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm willing yeah. to, like, throw some of the shit that she said out. But yes. at the end of the day, this nigga was fucking with... A 16-year-old. In, in a, yeah, a 16-year-old, bro. Yeah. And that shit's not cool. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I'm absolutely. willing to throw I'm willing to throw out some of the crazy shit she said without screenshots. But at the end of the day, he was fucking with a 16-year-old. You know, the other thing was that uh, the reason that I didn't kill him right away is because you have to put certain shit into context. Putting stuff into context is why he's guilty in the first place, okay? Yeah. So, for example, this is wild as fuck to say, and I've not done this. I don't use FaceTime. But the fact that he was jerking off on FaceTime is wild in yeah, general. That, yeah, it is but, crazy. But to, con- to contextualize, the UK only got out of lockdown last week. Niggas have been in lockdown over a year. You couldn't travel outside. You couldn't even leave your fucking city. So, like, it's very different. In America, you guys could go state to state. Miami is open. No, no. You couldn't go outside your city. It was a 100K fine to fucking go outside if you didn't have your shit right. And the 